Hello guys, how are y'all doing? So I hope you don't mind, I'm on my bed, comfy, cup of tea. In today's video, we will be going through my 2021 hauls. Yay! Woo! So let's get right on to the video. Okay, so I have about 13 goals. Some of them are massive, some of them are just very, very small. So yeah, so let's get on. So the first goal is my functional skills maths. Obviously I'm studying maths in order to get a C grade that is equivalent to a GCSE. So I'm doing that. So I'm hopefully going to get a level two. Cross fingers, if I study, study hard, and I, you know, revise and I do well in my exam, I'm hoping to finish around June, July 2021 this year. And in order to achieve that, uh, my goal is to do my homework on a Friday when I get it. If it's not done on a Friday, then get it done on either a Saturday, little bits on a Sunday. It should be done prior to the handing day on Tuesday. So that is my goal. Also, my goal is to study and revise once or twice per week. Second goal is to cook once a week. That is either going to be every Wednesday Wednesday or Thursday and I'll be using different books currently I'm inspired by Jamie Oliver's seven ways third goal is to work out three or four times a week no particular day so I'm not going to force myself to do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I can wake up one morning and feel like oh I don't really want to work out maybe I'll work out later on this afternoon if I don't work out that day then I'll work out the next day I'm gonna put no pressure on myself but I have a goal and my goal is to lose two stone saying it out loud it seems quite impossible but you know what I have to have a, a positive mindset so yeah that is my goal fourth goal is to attend bible studies and to pray more so how I'm gonna do that is I need to pray every morning and every night I'm rubbish at praying like even though it is literally just a conversation with the Lord I'm rubbish at praying, I'm rubbish at, yes I can have a conversation with the Lord during the day, but I'm rubbish at, um, you know, having a sit down conversation with the Lord, because I feel like I just, I can never do it, it's either I get too emotional, I start rambling, I start thinking of different things, I can never just sit down, so I need to put time aside in my day, so morning, in the evening before I get to bed and just pray to the Lord. I'm just gonna have faith. I'm just gonna stick to it and I'm gonna put no pressure on myself. The Lord knows my heart and the Lord knows I'm sometimes rubbish, you know, I forget things. I'm a human, I have a brain injury, T, but no pressure, the Lord knows my heart. Fifth goal is my boyfriend. Well, that's not a goal. Um, the goal in regards to that is to love him, be patient with him and yeah, just communicate more. And that will lead to deeper things in our relationship. So that is my goal. In regards to that goal, breathe more in difficult situations. So when I'm frustrated, when I'm angry, breathe, take a breather, Jodie. Inhale, exhale, breathe. And that will allow me to chill, relax. Not only like with Ashley, Ashley's just part of it, but that being said with my parents as well just communicate more and express how i feel more because that's important in any relationship romantic friends family whatever communicate more and engage and be loving and be patient mom and dad i want to spend one or two one or two i want to spend one or two times with them in the week so whether that be you know be in the car with dad and talking or like being downstairs cooking with mom i want to dedicate a few minutes an hour or so whatever once or twice in the week i want to spend it with mom or dad huh that was a mouthful to get out seventh goal is friends same more communication because we're in lockdown because i can't see all my friends my goal is to FaceTime a friend once in the week, once in the week, or if I'm lucky, FaceTime two friends in the week just to keep that communication going because like any relationship, you need communication, you need to show that you are dedicated and you put time and work into relationships. So a hobby, so like Instagram, I don't know what I put it youtube or instagram just keep that going because that's going really really well i'm really enjoying it and it's really 
boosted my confidence ninth goal is to drink more drink at least four bottles of water to stay hydrated of course but to reduce migraines to just keep my body healthy tenth goal is to read more i want to kind of alternate between watching tv and reading in the evenings just so it's an alternative to watching tv and a way of kind of winding down so yes you can watch tv before bed and still be able to wind down i want to not have the bright lights and read a good book and you know imagine things and then go to bed and feel wind down already and, and not have that 30 minutes of winding down from watching tv if i'm making any sense the limit goal is to sleep at a decent time i kind of want to wind down by 10 and be in bed for 10 30. Um, i know that's early for some but i do get up at six so i kind of do want to have a decent sleep and i know that literally is an eight hours uh, 12th goal is my driving theory i need to get that done girl boy family friends strangers hello i need to get my driving theory done because your girl needs to pass your girl needs to start her driving lessons get a wood um and i want to pass that by may so the month of may is my birthday i want to pass in may or in 2021 so my goal is to study every other day last goal is to push myself out of my comfort zone so in regards to heights snakes spiders anxiety do things that make me feel uncomfortable within reason of course and start saying yes because if i don't push myself out of my comfort zone to a certain extent that's where that's where your most memories are made i mean it's incredible pushing yourself out of your comfort zone so that is my goals for 2021 and obviously some of the goals help me to lose weight and become healthier have a close relationship with family and most importantly god and help me to be more like god and be a shining light in this world which will obviously help me with youtube and instagram see they kind of all interlinks <laughs> obviously driving and passing my theory and then eventually you know certain lessons and passing my driving lessons will help me be more freer and have more freedom and meet friends whenever i want wherever i want you know overall all of these goals just help me develop more and realize that hey i can do lots of things with a brain injury so beat that autoimmune encephalitis boom 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 so the steps that I can take to ensure I reach my goals, don't stress, breathe, relax, don't overthink it. Have a good work balance and life balance and that is still something I'm still figuring out. It's crazy, it's crazy with like lockdowns, being in lockdowns and being out of lockdowns and having to figure out the work balance and your life balance. It is very difficult and I'm still trying to figure it out, especially with the new year. Communicate when down, when low. Give myself breaks. If I don't get things done, don't be too hard on myself. Give myself a break. You know, the Lord says the next day is a new day. Your problems are no more. The Lord has granted you a new day. You know, praise the Lord for that. He's always giving us new days to progress and become a different person. So just don't just take breaks. A step that can help me to reach my goals is check my emails and messages because I'm rubbish when it comes to that. But those are my goals i hope that you have enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like please subscribe my friend comment do all of the good stuff to help your girl grow <laughs> thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day stay safe let me know your 2021 goals resolutions if you have any god bless bye